Happy New Year and welcome to 2015. Wow. And welcome back to Cigar Time. Wow. What are we doing today? I don't know. Smoking oh, we have a... I'm still recovering from New Year's Eve. <laughs> yeah, right. We have a special guest today. Yes, we have a very yeah, special guest. And it's a woman! Hello. Yes! Yeah, it's about Hi, time! Everybody. <laughs> a very attractive woman. Yes. yes. Thank absolutely. you. Absolutely. We're, we're very, very pleased to welcome Consuelo Gomez, or as she's referred to in this country, Evelyn. As Evelyn. <laughs> hey, hello. Hi, Evelyn. She hello. is the founder and proprietor of Poros de Santiago Cigars, uh, located in Santiago in the Dominican Republic. She uh, spends a lot of her time down there, as well as living in suburban Philadelphia. Uh, she manufactures cigars, and you may have seen in the local stores in our TV viewing audience, because it's, each day it grows even more, and uh, we're going to talk about some over the next week or two. So without further ado, uh, welcome. Thanks uh, for joining um, Cigar Time thank today. Thank you for inviting to me. Our pleasure. Thank you. Uh, Ms. T is yes. going to tell you about the cigar we'll be smoking today before yeah. Paul starts eating the tablecloth. <laughs> <laughs> Our cigar today is Amos de Santiago. The name of the line is the John. Um, it's a box press cigar with a beautiful Habano wrapper. The uh, binder is Dominican and the filler is both Dominican and Nicaraguan. It comes in two sizes, a 54 by 6 and a 54 by 5. And the taste profile on this is uh, creamy and medium body. So, ready, guys? That's got a beautiful it milk, does. milk chocolate wrapper. That's nice. I think it's beautiful. Use yours. Milk chocolate. This just is more caramel. Oh, you just saw it. Butterscotch. What do you think I just sit around here? I thought you just sit around with pretty. Yeah, well, I do that and, uh, He did say that earlier. What colors and lighters are we using? We're using Zycar. Oh, <laughs> stole his lines. I did steal his lighters. He was smoking. Sorry. What is the name of it? Um, <laughs> the aluminum lighter from Zycar. With an amazing tank. With a very big tank. Yeah. For such a small lighter. Yeah, see? Small pack. Never mind. I don't know that line. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's the other way around. So, how do you say big things can fit in small packages? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, You're so boy. pretty. Thank you. Oh, Thank God oh, I'm pretty, oh, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord, I have to work with these people. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing oh, today? Evelyn, how did you get at such a young age into the cigar business? Okay, when I was growing, my father, Juan Gomez, he grew tobacco for sale in the, in the, in the business. He sell for people made cigar. So I always see my father work in this business. And when I finished my high school, in my 18 year old, Fuente opened a school for people who want to learn my cigar. At Fuente. At, yes, Fuente. A and school I, for people to learn to make cigars. Yes. Oh. And I asked my family, can I go? And they say, okay, you want <laughs> to do it? Then I say, yes, this is what I want to do. So I go over there and spend the one year in working, they training me, made more than the wrap, then do everything. And I spent in this company nine years. Wow. wow. Where and where was it? Where was the school? In Santiago. Oh, okay. And then I come into United States, work for another company here. And then always I have this in my mind. I I I <laughs> hope I want to have my own company. I want to make cigar, and always thinking about it. And one day I say, you know what? I will do it. <laughs> and I started doing. I feel proud because, you know, bring the cigar in this country. I love this country. In this country, like cigar. I say, why they cannot try my cigar? So I feel happy. I feel proud. And thank you everybody for. Enjoy my cigar. Oh, you should be proud. You should be very proud. Very proud. Very proud. Very proud. We, you made you know, your dream come true. That's amazing. We've we've watched mm -hmm. uh, Evelyn's company and and her work develop. We, we've known her over the years, and we've seen the evolution of the company and of the cigars themselves as they've gotten bigger and better. Yeah, absolutely. Evelyn, how old were you when you first smoked your first cigar? 
I started the cigar when I had my 18 year old. Yeah? Yes. So you didn't smoke before 18? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I always watch my father smoke a cigar and my mother, I say, how they can you smoke that? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm sorry, I have to have my cigar every day. <laughs> I see yes. you smoke a lot of cigars. You smoke yes. as many as I do. Yes. But not as many as I no, do. No, no, not as many as you. Nobody. I'm about to say, I don't think anyone can smoke as many as you. The whole world put together doesn't smoke as many as you. And now my mother asked me, how are you smoking so much cigar? I said, like you do before. She said, okay. That's right. Yes. So she didn't smoke. No, she quick now, but she do before. But really? They say, oh yes. Cool. Yes. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what's uh, everybody's first impression? Want to go first? Paul? I'll go first. Okay. First thing that strikes me is the draw and the mm -hmm. smoke production are excellent. Yes. Yeah, Especially if you consider that it's box pressed, and right. you mm -hmm. might think it would be tight. It draws beautifully. Um, it is a. It's a light side of medium, mm -hmm. but there's a just a, a hint of sweet spice. Right. And it's a, that's great. Sweet spice is good when you can get it. Yes. Yeah. Tia? Yeah. Um, I do like the fact that it's box press. It's actually like a firm box press, which I like. I don't like the spongy type mm -hmm. that gives a little too much. I don't like that type of box press, but this one is just about perfect. Um, the draw is impeccable. I love it. And um, I'm getting like a like a black pepper type of spice to it, and it's Habano, so I expect that you know in in that wrapper. So okay. we'll see what happens. So I love the, um, the the milk chocolatey wrapper on this. It's very nice. Beautiful wrapper. It's, it's a beautiful wrapper. Um, it's very smooth. It's very very easy to draw. I'm getting a earthy taste to it so far. Um, we'll see where it goes from there. I echo the sentiment. Getting the earthy taste. <laughs> Easy draw. Yeah. It's, it's certainly a well-packed cigar with mm -hmm. a lot of volume of smoke, mm -hmm. and it's very good. Thank very, you. So far, so good. Thank you. Enjoy. So far, so good. So, so what? Uh, when did you actually uh, open your factory? Mm, four years ago. Four years. Yes. Yeah. And now, how many? Um, how many workers, how many rollers do you have there? We have like six rollers and four employees. One make the, mo the materials, the one packaging, and one supervisor. So six rollers and four other employees. Yes. This is a true yeah. boutique cigar. Yeah. Very true, yeah. Small, yeah. small batch cigar. Mm -hmm. You know, you know her her production levels are not anywhere near what a very large company would be. So that's yeah. why I believe each cigar is probably you know a labor of love. Yes. And there's a lot put into these cigars. So I mean, two corazón and cada cigar. Yes, this is what I told my role. Please don't try make me a la cigar. I only want good consistent, good cigar, and perfect cigar. I want people when they try their cigar. They like it. I don't want that you guys do me a last cigar. I want a little cigar, perfect. Smart. So yeah. it's about the Few, quality. To cigars, you, it's about better. the quality right. instead yeah. of the production. Right. And I can tell yeah. you from experience, she runs a tight ship. Yes. <laughs> uh, nobody messes with her. <laughs> nobody messes with her. I mean, I've seen a picture of her with the with the bull whip. <laughs> whip. <laughs> <laughs> And that's here. Yeah, yeah. God knows what she does in Santiago. <laughs> yeah, I am strong, believe me. You're strong. Yes. You also got many years experience when we used to make the cigars in our stores. Yes. Evelyn was a lead roller in our stores for many years, turning out cigars. So she's been making cigars between Fuente and us for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. And we, of course, switched our own making of cigars to her factory in Santiago many years ago. And then we're very, very satisfied in, in what we've done. And, and, you know, we sell many tens of thousands of her cigars a year. So it, it's been a, a good product for us to sell and a good product for our customers especially. And it's a very value price cigar. Absolutely. What, what, is the, uh, what is the retail point on these? I don't, do I don't know? know. Around six, five, six, right? Six? It's around Could six. Yeah. The, the price, yes. 
Six, six, yeah, it's around six. Six, mm-hmm. yeah. thirty. So yeah. it's a good value. Yeah, it's okay. a very good value cigar. Mm-hmm. So is the, are, are our stores the only stores you can get your brands of cigars? No, no, no. Oh, there's others? Good. good. Yes. Okay. We have, All right. I can mention. No. Okay. No, not, not the actual. Quantos tiendas? How many? Like, yeah. Quince. Quince. So okay. 14, 15 yeah. different stores okay. in, this, in this area. In the so area, throughout the, nice. We also throughout. have Florida. We have okay. Texas. We have Arizona. Really? Uh, Texas yes. and Arizona, really? And yes. Florida. Excellent. Well, there's a service up. You go out there? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they, believe me or not, we are in the magazine, Cigar, Sp- Cigar Spirit. Right. Mm-hmm. And okay. from there, a lot of people call us and oh, ask them wow. for the sample. And then they try, they like it, they start to make it their order. Oh, nice. Very nice. 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 That's awesome. Nice. You yeah. have Kenny go out there and service it. <laughs> yeah. He's so crazy. You know give, that. Give him a one way ticket. To yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Kenny, we can only send you out there. We can't bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's, it's a local phenomenon. Those of you watching in mm-hmm. Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware, where our show is the strongest, have probably come across the Poros de Santiago in your neighborhood brick and mortar store. And as we always say, support your local mm-hmm. brick-and-mortar store, and especially in the kind of weather we're having, it's a little cold outside. Yeah. I mean, they'll supply the place for you to be indoors during the winter time and smoke your favorite cigar. And, and, you know, though we have 10 stores, we're not on every street corner. So we always ask that you support your local tobacconist. And of course, if you drop into one of our stores, we're always happy to see you as well. And if you buy one of Evelyn's cigars, the Poros de Santiago, we're very happy. Yes, don't forget, take it one quickie, some time, short time, the quickies. Yeah, we and, if, and if Evelyn is in the store, she will take you in that humidor, and she will know she you. She will make you. Yes. <laughs> you will not leave without buying one of her cigars. Or, or, or alive. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. I do like when you come to the store. So. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I like to be here, too. Paul, what can you regale us with today? Well, you know, we're, we're coming into the dead of winter. Ooh. And of course, nobody likes to sit outside in the cold and smoke Dude. a cigar, which is why we and hopefully your local uh, cigar shop will have a lounge, maybe not like ours, but a lounge <laughs> nonetheless. And so you get to smoke indoors where it's warm and comfortable. But what some of you have asked us about is what happens to your cigar in the cold weather? And that's a whole different story. Um, Certainly in your home, even in a humidor, uh, wintertime is rougher on your cigar than the summertime is, uh, primarily because cigars come from places that are warm and humid, so when it's warm and humid, they don't suffer. Uh, In the wintertime, we turn on the heat, but cold drafts can get around and the heat is typically very dry. Mm-hmm. So you have to be extra attentive to your humidors in, at, during this time of year to make sure that the, the humidity is properly maintained. Yes. So now you take your beautiful cigar and let's say you don't have the luxury of visiting a lounge and you're stuck sitting outside huddled against the cold. <laughs> uh-huh. What happens to your cigar when you smoke it in the cold? And since I smoke every kind of cigar in every place you can think of, uh, I have a little bit of experience with what happens to a cigar, even a good one, when you smoke it in the cold. And I'm sure you're gonna tell us. Well, I am. Okay. Uh, First of all, you actually lose a great deal of the flavor of the cigar, especially at the beginning, uh, if the cigar is cold. And the reason that happens is all of the flavor in the cigar comes from natural uh, oils that are in the tobacco. And if they are not at a temperature where they can burn comfortably, they don't exude the flavor that they normally would. But there's also some physical mechanical issues that take place when a cigar is cold. And for the purposes of our collective education, uh, I took a cigar, or I'm sorry, I took one of your cigars, and uh, I actually left it in the freezer overnight. Uh, because I wanted to see, I wanted you to see what happens to a cold cigar when you light it up. Uh, 
I use my teeth. Wow. <laughs> I thought I was going to catch you, not cutting you out. He's a true aficionado. It looks like it's already tunneling. Well, the first thing I can tell you is the wrapper's already beginning to split, and some of that is because it's frozen. <laughs> but some of it, and we'll just have to see. I mean, this was, I didn't rehearse this. So we, <laughs> so we, don't, we don't know if the demonstration is going to work the way I planned it to, but I'll tell you what happens. Um, as the cigar itself warms up, since there's moisture in it, the moisture begins to expand, and actually the inside of the cigar begins to expand. By the way, I will never hear the end of it if nothing happens to this cigar. You're right. <laughs> I can, <laughs> I Rest assured. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm utterly confident. Um, <laughs> on this gang, are you kidding me? <laughs> so now, if you take a uh, semi-frozen, stiff wrapper leaf. Oh, I that's ripped stick. No. Yeah. Wrap, wrapped around a cigar that's warming up and expanding, uh, the wrapper cannot possibly expand as fast as the inside of the cigar will. So, presumably, at some point, as the inside <laughs> as the inside gets warm, maybe I'm not puffing fast enough. Uh, as the inside gets warmer, it's going to burst basically right out of the wrapper. Oh. And any of you that have stood outside in freezing cold and smoked a cigar, you know what I'm talking about. Why would you do that? Especially when you have as many lounges as we do. Yeah, why would you stand yeah. outside and freeze your patooties off? Well, my What's point exactly. I don't know. Your booty. Of course, today it's not going to happen at all. Probably. The cigar is going to behave impeccably. I should have stuck one of those little old cigar loads in here, so, that, fire, it, so that it would literally or a little explode. firecracker, you know. Yeah. yeah. So my my <laughs> my experiment has gone completely flat. Um, so now you know how a comedian feels when he goes up on stage and all his jokes bomb. <laughs> well, I'm used to that. <laughs> Wait, we need to bring Mike in. Point. Um, Mike's here. <laughs> oh, we have the comedian in the audience. I yeah, guess she told I a guess, good joke. I guess the bottom line here is that if there is any way that you can avoid smoking your cigar outside in the cold weather, you probably should. That also includes smoking in your car with the window open because uh, the wind and the cold mm -hmm. will ha also have a dramatically negative effect on the cigar. Well, it affects the way it burns. In that case, it won't just be that the cigar is frozen, but you'll be running cold air across the surface of it, and it's going to make it burn completely uneven. The ash will be flying all around. I think, in general, you're much better off rolling up your window, closing your sunroof, and smoking in the car anyway. Oh, my God, you're going to die. No, you just get more smoke out of every <laughs> cigar. Die. Would you like me to go get you some ice cubes? Would that help you along? With this? No, this has been in the freezer for, for 24 hours. Oh, my it's just Lord. It's just not going to work this time. Oh, I, I got lucky. Oh, looking for cigar, cigar, any location. So come and that's join. Your, <laughs> yeah, that's right, everyone. That's right. Yeah. The best solution of all is look for cigar. Cigars come in. Our cigars are not frozen. <laughs> <laughs> they, they will not explode. <laughs> and um, you get to relax. You get to smoke in good company with good people. Well, in any, in any one of our tents. In good company with interesting people. Oh, I love that. Unique. Um, in any of our 10 locations. <laughs> now I'm going to put this down, and I'm going to go back to my, I'm going to go back to my Almos de Santiago. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> wow. Huge failure. Well, you know. Look at the ash on this. If you take no chances, I mean, it's operator error on the anything. side. I mean, I I lit it. I didn't light it right, but oh, that's I know I terrible. I screwed it up. Okay, but look at the ash, though. I mean, oh, what would, how would you call describe that? Oh, well, let me fix it. Crazy. I call it a Scott. Scott. Why pick on a guy who's not here? Because let me tell you, that's every what? it doesn't matter. <laughs> that's why yeah. Scott will light a cigar, and I don't care how he lights it. Whatever it it always canoes. It always. It's because his mouth is crooked. I don't get it. I know. I understand it, and he refuses to fix it. I think he likes uh, it. But no, look at that. It's beautiful. It's staying on. Very that's sure. nice. I like that. Well, mine's burning fine. Yeah, mine's burning fine too. It's the volcanic ash. It Did was, I ever tell the story about speaking of exploding cigars? about the cigars that were 
thought in, in Nicaragua that were thought to be sticks of dynamite? No. I'll tell that story another time. Save it for another time. All right. All right. Well, I think it's time for us to uh, <coughs> Damn, I shouldn't have let it talk go. about the cigar and rate it and review it yep. and sure. all that stuff. So, uh, who wants to go first? Kia. I'll go first. Okay, I think. Oh, stuff on my, I don't know. On what the drink. hell? Let's put it down. <laughs> my mysterious um, drink. Yeah. I like the cigar. Everyone knows, like, again, I'm not really big in the spice, and this does have, it has enough spice. Um, the wrapper's very tasty. I'm getting cream. I'm getting earth. Mm -hmm. And I am getting a, a sweet spice now in the middle. Um, I tried the retrohale. I think I did it. I wasn't sure. <laughs> I, I you, did. If you did it, you would know. I did. I, I came out. I tasted it. I tasted a lot of little, like some pepper coming out of my nose. But then I couldn't do it again. So I don't know. But I like this cigar. It's a good cigar. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and the band is gorgeous. What does the band, does the band mean anything? The band, does the, does the, the artwork on the band mean anything? My friend, I have a friend and he designed this for me. Okay. He's so no. Nice band. Doesn't it mean anything. Nice it's gorgeous band. Mm -hmm. It is very nice. Uh, I'm definitely getting um, earthy tastes and leathery tastes through this. Uh, through the retro hail, I, I get uh, a lot of spice in it. In the retro. In, yeah. 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 Told you it's I very earthy spice. tasting. I like it. It's burning perfectly. I, I like the cigar a lot. I think it's really good. Paul? I like it a lot too. It's a it's a medium plus a little bit mm -hmm. in in strength. It's it's got the underlying flavors which are a little bit creamy, I think, mm -hmm. and leathery with it with a touch of earth. But that that overlay of spice is just perfect. Mm -hmm. It's not intense, you know. It's not jump in your face and, and kick you right. around. It's it's just there <gasps> in a really good way. I like this cigar a lot. Tea is burning the place down. <laughs> Oh my God! I just set the paper on fire. <laughs> oh, wow! Now she's pretty hot. Hey, the cigar is pretty hot. Look at that. <laughs> oh God! Art, it's your turn. Yeah, well, I get the earth, man. I get the earth pretty good. I get the spice through the nose. Uh, I'm also getting a, like a semi-sweet finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I find it uh, more medium to lower medium. Yeah. I don't find it medium plus. I, I just disagree with you a little the bit. Spicy, I get that. Uh, I don't think it's a real, you know, I, my sensitivity towards strong cigars, so I, it's, it's it's very pleasant smoke. And you said these were around $6? Yeah. So it's right in the sweet spot. It's an excellent cigar. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. You're welcome. Oh, it's excellent. Now, Evelyn, how much time do you spend in the Dominican Republic versus how much time do you spend in the U.S.? Because I know you go back and forth a lot. Yes. Now I spend more time in Dominican Republic, what I do here. I like uh, impression. They do good job yeah, all the time. You you, you like you like yeah, yeah. Yes. You like to be there and see <laughs> and what put your hands do. on it. And yeah. yes. yes, and they do what they supposed to do. Now, do you, do you do you employ both men and women in the rolling gallery, or or do more men or more women? More men and women. I have one woman and the other are men. Hmm. Yes. You use lectures. <laughs> What's a lector? Oh, what forget it. <laughs> in, in, in Las Gran Fabricas, uh, yes, una persona uh, reads a book to everybody. Oh, uh, not yet. This is coming. coming. Not yet, but it's coming. Yet. <laughs> Radio. Yes, luego. <laughs> so anything new coming out in from the factory or? Yes, next year we have lots of guys coming mm. Yeah, different in different light and different flavors. We're gonna we're gonna talk about that next week. Evelyn Evelyn's gonna join us next week and she's gonna describe her different models and, and talk about okay. what's new and Some get into things like the shorties and all those all those things. Yes. And super unique special cigars that yes. I have. So yes. boy, oh boy, you're in for a treat. Yes. Tune in next week. Go to my Facebook, Puros de eh, Consuelo Gomez or Puros de Santiago, and you guys can see everything new is coming for next year. Cool. This year. Yes. This year. Yeah, edición limitada. <laughs> yeah, it's already 2015, so it'll be this year. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we should put some numbers on it, yes? And then talk about upcoming events yes. in the yep. next few days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can go first, yeah. Paul. Put a number on this, I'd give it a solid seven and a half. I like it. Yeah. I'm right with Paul. <laughs> Seven and a half. Uh, I like it a little bit better than you guys. I give it an eight. 
Ooh. I like this cigar. Oh my God. <laughs> Boy, the pressure's on, huh? Yeah. Give me your number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wimp out. Seven and three quarters. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not right. rolling. It's good. That's, that's a good rating. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Seven means solid. Like, it's a true good solid. Yeah, and you know what? I, I might take it to seven and seven eighths because of the price. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. We got to factor in the price point. Really? It's a great price point. Seven and seven eighths. Seven. That's at <laughs> seven point eight, eight seven, seven five. five. What old stock guy? Wow. <laughs> Ace sixteenth. Man, I can measure them all. No, it's a great cigar. Great, great cigar. It is it's very, very good. I enjoy. It. I smoke a lot. And a of these. boatload of smoke. Who always says that? And I invite that? everybody <laughs> to come and see cigar, cigar and try the John number two. John Abano. number two. Abano. Yes, my dad's name, John. Spelling your dad. It's my brother's name. <laughs> oh, that's your dad's name. I don't have any Johns in my family. I have a few in my house, but I don't have any in, a, in my family. Yeah, she said one. That's right. One. <laughs> you have a few in your house? Actually, about four of them, yeah. <laughs> and there's always our a very own John. Mm. Our very own John. Uncle, Uncle Max. Max, yeah. Yes. Uncle Max. Now, that, right. the John was named in honor of your father and Uncle Max? Yes. Our John. Yes. Yeah, just your dad. That's just your dad, not, not our John? For both. Oh, for both. It was, yes. it was for both. See, what do you tell us? <laughs> okay. My father and John. Yeah. Oh. Uncle Max. Uncle Max. Uncle Max. Right. See? Methuselah. <laughs> I have no idea. As old as you. dirt and twice as lumpy. Yeah. <laughs> He's but older was, than the hills and younger than the wind. But his ties are always fresh and new. His what? Ties. Well, I love his they ties. They might be fresh, but they're not they're new. They're not new? <laughs> <laughs> his oh ties are God. as old as he is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Some of those ties are from WW2. Wait, I'm going to be quiet because, you know, I work for him, so I just got to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So uh, what about the events, Rob? Oh, uh, yeah, we just have uh, upcoming events with PDR uh, coming up this weekend. Um, the 9th is uh, PDR events, buy three, get two free. So you get five Amazing cigars, only deal. paying for three of them. Uh, in Horsham, uh, 12 to 3. And then later on in Colmar on the 9th from 5 to 8. And then on the 10th, Saturday, we have them in uh, Oxford Valley, 12 to 3 and Freehold, New Jersey from five to eight. Yeah. So and as always, out. oh, I'm sorry. Not good. We're running out of time. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. wow, we are. So I think it's time for a, a group, we'll establish a new precedent. No. Hey, well, we don't have enough time for individual goodbyes. Well, keep talking, we won't. Say goodbye. Bye. Smoke love and smoke happy. Goodbye. Go ahead. Bye-bye for now. Hi, Dad, smoke sweet. Ciao for now, everybody. Bye. Oh, I'm forget. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but don't forget, come and buy my cigar. <laughs> that's Always in there. Oh, that's good. Bye-bye from Cigar bye. Time, and we'll see you next Tuesday. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.